Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create a reset filters button within Tableau. Here I have a workbook with sentiment analysis for a specific restaurant for various reviews. If the value is one, then it is very, very positive and a great experience at the restaurant. Whereas if the value is negative one or goes towards negative one, then it's a bad experience. I have different categories listed in the dashboard. We can also filter on these different categories. And if we have a user here and they're manually clicking through these categories, but then they eventually want to reselect all of them, we want to make it as easy as possible. And instead of making them go through and manually click all of these, we can create a reset button to do that automatically and bring back all the categories and data. What I'll do first is I am going to create a new worksheet and I will call this reset. Now that I have this created, I need to create a calculated field. I'll call this reset. And within the calculation, I am going to put two quotation marks and I am going to put in text that is going to show on our reset button. In this case, I'll call it reset filters. Now that we have that, we can drag our new parameter onto text. We have it shown up. And what we could do is we can, you can play around with different shapes that you would want. You can have a circle or more often use a square. Then we can just play around with it by changing the size of it to get the size you want and also edit the text to make it to have it show how you want. Now that I have my reset filters button created, I now have to have a create a action that is actually going to reset all the filters. If we go back, we want to reset three particular categories, season, whether or not the reviewer is a super reviewer and the time of day that the reviewer went to the restaurant. What we'll do is go to worksheet, click on actions, and we're going to add an action. We're going to be creating a filter for the action where we get all the data back. What I'm going to do is I am going to map this from the reset button to our sentiment analysis. In this top one, we're going to create the source, is going to be reset, be sure to hit select, and we want this to map to the restaurant sentiment analysis. We want to focus in on those three specific categories. We're not going to go with all fields, we'll go with selected fields, and we're going to add filters, and it's going to be for the super reviewer, time of day, and finally season. We have the, all those selected. Be sure to select the specific variables for your categories based on your worksheet. Let's hit OK. And we can also rename this to reset. Now let's go to our dashboard and bring in our reset button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop to the right hand side. Hide the title. We can edit this in the worksheet as well. Let's test this out. Let's go and filter down. And we can try out our reset filters button. Great. It looks like we were able to get back all the data and we were able to co correctly program our reset filters button. If you do have different filters within your sheet, for example, I have two different sheets, the restaurant sentiment analysis and this average revenue by season. If you have the, the link across the sheets applied across all using this data source, you may run into some issues. If we go back to the dashboard and try this out, you may have, you'll have issues with resetting the filter. In this case, what you need to do is you need to have the source on the selected sheets, not across all the data. 
what I'll do is I am just going to have it all across reviews and restaurant sentiment analysis. And we can try this again. And now our reset button works. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I will continue to create more Tableau videos on these different functions that you can put into your workbook. Feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.